Hello everyone, we are in lesson 7.3 and that is on page 275 in your colored math book. We are adding fractions using models today. The question asks, how can you add fractions with like denominators using models? So let's see how you can do that. All right, let's pull out the question here. The question says, Miss Clark made a loaf of bread. She used one eighth of the bread for a snack and five eighths of the bread for her lunch. How much did she use for a snack and lunch? So how much did she use for a snack and lunch? So you are going to add them together. One eighth, that was her snack, and five eighths was her lunch. All right, I'm going to scoochie mine over so we can see what it says here. One eighth is blank eighth size piece of bread. It is one eighth size piece of bread. Five eighths is blank eighth size pieces of bread. Five. And we just got that number from right here and right here. They just want to know how much of that bread are they using. They're using five of the eight pieces. They're using one of the eight pieces. All right, next, shade one eighth piece, one eighth size piece, then shade five eighth size pieces. All right. So there's your one eighth. That would be for the snack. And then I'm gonna shade it a totally different color. We need how many pieces? Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, it's pretty good. That was for the, <coughs> for the snack. Or I'm sorry, that was for the lunch. This one was for the snack. One eighth was for the snack. Five eighths was for the lunch. And it shows a snack, lunch. The pieces you shade it represent the pieces Miss Clark used. So Mrs. Clark used, how much did she use? She used all together. How many pieces did she use? She used six eighth size pieces. Or how do you rate it as a fraction? Six eighths of the bread. All right, let's go on to the next one. Pull out the problem here. It's the same problem, so I'm just going to underline it the same way. One eighth for the snack, five eighths for the lunch. Oops, crazy underlining. And they want to know how much did she use for a snack and lunch. So we're going to shade this way. This right here represents the whole thing. And then all of these are the slices. So this is the whole thing unused, and this is now what it looks like sliced up when you cut the bread in half, or when you cut the bread into pieces. All right, one strip, the right here, the one strip represents the whole loaf right here. That's before it was cut, but now we've cut it into eighths. All right, so what they want us to do <clears throat> is they want us to shade again. So this was the snack, and then we're going to shade for her lunch. Remember, 
That was the snack. Now we need to shade. How many pieces for her lunch? We need to shade. Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, one eighth was her snack, five eighths was the lunch. So you're going to add it together. Remember, when your bottoms are the same, you add your tops. When the bottoms are the same, you add your tops. When your bottoms are the same, you add your tops. So eight and eight, the denominators are the same, so now you're just going to add the tops. 1 plus 5 is 6. So, how many 1 8 size parts are shaded? How many parts are shaded? 6. Write the sum of 1 8 plus 5 8, which is 6 8. So, Mrs. Clark used 6 8 of the bread. So let's go back to the beginning. How can you add fractions with like denominators using models? So here we drew it out, the loaf of bread, and we cut it into eight pieces, and we shade it in one, and then we shade it in the five, and we added them together, or we counted them up. Here, we compared it to the whole, and we cut it into eight pieces, and then we shade it one, and we shade it five, and we knew that one eighth plus five eighths equals six eighths. One eighth plus five eighths equals six eighths. All right, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, I will see you in class. Let me know. Bye, everyone.